I don't think anyway. We'll just make sure it's looking our uh it'll ever start up again. There we go. Can you actually hear me now? Like really hear me now. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, that looks so much better. Okay, I'm just gonna stop using the slobs at man. Okay. Anyway, yes, that was uh that was cat. Which demo? Demo. I think he's mad at me right now. Oh, there he is. You see him up there on the stairs? Hold on. There he is, like way up there. Dude, Drew's got over to your Monday, dude. Yep. I was gonna say the thing is though, if like I don't I don't usually talk this loud when he's around, so uh he might not come down very much. But we're gonna try though. So anyway, you were asking me about the pot. So I got this cabbage that was actually literally the size of my head. And uh well I as soon as you asked me that, I was like, you know what? That is kind of a big, uh, a big ask to find a pot that big. Yeah, he's chilling, man. He's super chilling. As soon as I, as soon as I look at him, though, he stops chilling. He's been, he's, been, he's really, really nervous. Cause I don't think, um, I don't think he's had any human contact before I got him. So he's been like really, really skittish, and it's taken him a little bit to adjust having him, but hmm? he doesn't even know what to do about it. But that's okay. All right. So anyway. That's what we're dealing with. So am I supposed to like, should I just like peel the leaves and then uh, like peel the leaves and then boil the leaves themselves? Because I feel like this is probably gonna be uh, a hell of a task now that I look at it. Right, Cause I really don't think I've got any bigger pots. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. What if, okay, what if I cut it in half and then boil it in two separate pots? You have junk leaves? I think, well, here's the thing. The thing is, I don't know, like I don't eat enough cabbage or cook enough cabbage to really know what is the junk and what is the not. So I'm gonna assume that like the really green ones are the ones that you don't want, right? Eat full leaves. But if I cut it down the middle, it'll be a full leaf, right? God damn, those things are massive. Are they, like, do I just get rid of the ones that are like super veiny or something? Because those guys are really, really girthy. Or do I just go until it's white? Like, I feel like this, this is probably a good leaf, right? Wait, no? Yes? No? Wait. That, dude, that is so close to fitting in there. Maybe, if we just fill it, like, extra full, it'll, it'll boil over the top and it'll, uh, it's good now? Okay, perfect. God, that looks disgusting on the bottom, though. I'm going to chop off this bottom though, because that, that's a little unnerving, isn't it? It looks gross. What are you looking at? Oh, you're okay. I wasn't coming to you. Okay. On the my... Oh shit, I have, dude, I haven't sharpened my knife in so long. Because I didn't, I didn't hardly have to use it when we did the, uh, when we did the chicken a couple weeks ago. Let me just point out. Let me just point out that uh, I think I did miss Ma one of Mags's uh, one of Mags's requests because when I was looking through everything, and then you mentioned that you don't remember me doing one for Mags. I remember the last one that I did was the the pad Thai chicken, the peanut chicken, and I think Mags requested his after that one. So I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll just I'll just do one for the shit of it then. Okay, let me chop this dude off. There we go. Beautiful. And that, that looks a lot more uh, appetizing, I think. And we're even closer to fitting inside the pot. Although not entirely, but... Alright, so let's fill this dude up. Wait, am I supposed to, like... Let me fill it up. Fill it up with water. Wait, how much am I going to need? You know what? Okay, here. 
I'm gonna do something really, really intelligent. Or I'm, I'm gonna pretend like it's intelligent, okay? I'm going to put the cabbage in the pot, fill it with water to where it's, it's at a reasonable height, and then I'm gonna take the cabbage out. And then I get the water boiling, and then put the cabbage in so that way, boom, when we put the cabbage in, we got just, in, just the right amount of water. So check this out. Big brain plays here. Maybe. I forgot how big this pot is. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I figured this dude would just fill up like instantly, but not that lucky though. Also, there we go. I feel like if I put any more than that, it's probably going to turn into a disaster. So I think what I gotta do is Are you sure? Uh, I might have to cut that in half, man. I don't think I'm gonna be able to boil this. This is gonna be weird. You have treat. Oh, I will. Yeah, his name's Demo. After a uh, demo, demo from uh, DVD. Just because I know at some point he is going to shred me with uh, while I'm not looking. That's the entire reason behind it. And I figure it'd be fun to call him Demo Cato. Oh, let's get that dude boiling. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll just try to flip the cabinet or something like that. Yeah, he's he's still, like he's still trying to like figure out how to use his claws and shit. But he's uh doing a pretty good job of like destroying my uh my my chair and my guitar amp. So, but it's hard to be mad at him. Okay, so it, it requests chopped uh, chopped tomatoes, and I looked literally everywhere for chopped tomatoes, and this is all that I could find. So I'm not sure if like. What, like, I could not find any canned chopped tomatoes fucking anywhere. It was insane. This is literally the only one. And, uh, I'm hoping that this is the right thing. Otherwise, I would have done it, like, from, with, with tomatoes that I would have chopped myself. Oh, dude, I'm sure, he's so affectionate, man. I mean, he's not showing it right now, because I'm talking really loud, but he's, dude, like, I, I, I brought him home on Wednesday, right? And he would not let me even come near him until like probably Friday night. And then Friday night, he finally let me touch him. And he was like really aggressive with it. And like I said, I think it's because uh, I don't think he's had any human contact at all, like until I got him. So he, uh, like as soon as that happened, it was like a whole new thing. And then he just like would not leave me alone. And then yesterday, what he did was he, uh, uh, he kept like pawing at my chair like he wanted to get up, so I just picked him up. He didn't he didn't fight me at all. I picked him up, put him on my lap, and he was like and he's he's been like climbing all over my computer and now he owns my fucking office, so there is that. <laughs> the thing is like right now, like it, right now, the thing is if I if I stand up, even if I've got him like if he's sitting right next to me on the floor, let's say he's sitting next to me on the floor in his bed or something like that, and I stand up, he freaks out and runs away. So I'm like I'm getting very very close to, to him like now I, I got to the point where he's like when I stand up I stand up really slow and he'll run but he'll stop like two feet away from me and then he'll watch me and then when he sees me take a step he'll 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 basically keep like a two foot buffer in between us. So for right now I think I think I gotta wear the demo costume he's gotta wear the, the I'd, I'd probably dress him as as Meg well that's not true I'd probably dress him up as as a shirtless David because. You know, shirtless David is the one that doesn't get caught, and I'm there's no way in hell I'm ever gonna catch him. All right, I gotta get shit done. I got to make hamburger. I gotta chop some parsley, and uh, I got all my seasoning right here. Beautiful. And you know what? I thought about this. I was like, okay, from now on, I think whenever whenever I do these cooking streams, I'm going to get all the seasoning out because you really, like every single time I go up into my seasoning cabinet, that thing is overfilled so much that everything falls out every fucking time. Yeah, dude, we're stuffing it, stuffing it with some nice ground sirloin. It's gonna have some onion, garlic, and a parsley, and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Now, I have no idea how much a third of a cup is. Okay, well, I've got a third of a cup right here, conveniently. So, I'll say like probably about that much. Eh. No. And you know what, I'll just take a healthy handful. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. There we go. There we go. 
and then put the parsley back in the fridge to where it's never going to be used again. It's going to deteriorate and make my fridge stink. That's okay. All right, let me wash these dudes. Oh, and you know what's, what's going to be funny is uh, my sister, on the, day that, on the day that I got him, my sister asked me to watch Pups Get Again. So now I've got to uh, figure out how that's going to work. I've got to get him comfortable enough around me to where he won't freak out. And then I've got him to be, <laughs> and then like basically right after that, like I think after probably the next week, he'll be perfectly okay. But I've got to get him to the point where when I bring a pup skit over, uh, he's not going to freak the fuck out. So that might be a little bit of a uh, tolerance, but only time will tell. And the funny thing is, like, my sister's dog has never been around a cat, so I have no idea how the fuck he's going to respond. But all I know is i got to watch him for three days, and uh, I really hope that the poor guy doesn't get stuck in the, stuck in the closet for three days after that, man. That does not sound like a good time. But I think, like... The, like, the closet is a safe space. He will not, like, anytime he freaks out, he runs straight to the closet and just hides in there underneath the air conditioner. So I'm, I, I think, like, he's spending a lot more time outside of it. It's just like, whenever he's just, like, really exhausted, he just goes in there, lays down, and just, I don't hear from him. I, like, I haven't, I, he was, he was hanging out with me for, like, God, probably. He was hanging out with me for probably, like, three or four hours this morning. He was just sitting on my lap chilling, man. And then, like, uh, I don't know, I'd say probably about 11 o'clock, he just, like, gets up and disappears. And I haven't heard from him until, like, like, literally five minutes before I start the stream. Or try to start the stream, anyway. We're not going to talk about it. Good. Yeah, he's, he's pretty low maintenance, though. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's been a long time, because I've never had a, a baby cat, either. Like, every cat I've been around has been a, a big boy. You know, fully, fully, uh... Well, adult and shit. So, this is kind of a learning experience, but he's warming up pretty well, I think. I think. I took my time and I let him come to me. I didn't, I didn't like, go out of my way to go pet him or anything like that. I waited for him to get comfortable enough in the space because the first day he did not leave this window over here. And then uh, I, so you know, I started going upstairs and then he started following me upstairs, but he wouldn't like come into my office. And then he was like. Okay, well, I'm just going to chill over here. And he, he's still on the far side and all that shit, so. But now, and then he's like, you know what? I think this guy's kind of cool. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think so, but I'll respect your opinion. And, uh, and the rest is history. Curfew? I don't think so. I mean, the, the city that I live in is like 85% retirees. And uh, they go to bed by like 6 o'clock anyway, so I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I, I think a uh, uh, curfew's probably redundant around here. Okay, so I got that. Now I can get my meat ready. And I'm gonna take a shortcut too, because I know you're supposed to cook the meat inside the oven. You're not supposed to cook it in the pan, but I'm gonna cook it a little bit inside the pan, so that way we don't have to let it bake for like two fucking hours. Because uh, I don't know what the hell to do for two hours while, while it's just baking. All right, so let me get this guy ready. I need a big, big fucking bowl. A big fucking bowl. How about that? I think I got a big fucking bowl right here. There we go. Big fucking bowl. And I'm gonna need a skillet later anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that because this dishwasher is kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. All right. And we're almost boiling too. All right. So, hamburger's going in here. And then I gotta mix the, okay, parsley's going in. Then I, I gotta, I, I think I have to measure this shit too. Like, because of all these different spices, because it's very specific on what has to be go, has to go into it. It's gotta be, let's see. All right. Oh shit, I gotta make the rice too. Fuck my life. Okay, here we go. Rice is going in the microwave. We're not gonna talk about it. It's going in for five minutes. Four and a half minutes, all right, we'll go.
430, boom. All right, we go. And unfortunately today, I just thought about this, but uh, we're gonna eat like here on the island instead of like at the dining table because I still haven't cleaned up from uh, the PC building stream and I've got all these giant ass boxes from like the case and, and everything that everything came in and I have no, no, no place to put it because my cat has taken over my closet. So anyway, that is currently occupying my, my dining area, but that's okay. All right, so I've got rice cooking. Okay, we got that much out of the way. One teaspoon, how much teaspoon? Uh, oh wait, I got him, oh, fuck, I got him down here again. I'll just grab all my measuring spoons out of there. There we go, just for good measure, because I know I'm gonna end up opening this thing like at least 14 more times. There we go, okay. All right, so one teaspoon. Boom. Okay, and that was a garlic powder. No, onion powder. Teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Beautiful. Then we got, let's see, one teaspoon of sea salt. Wait, should I crunch it up? God damn it, I hate to do this again. Boom. Okay, well, I don't think we have much choice here. Dude, J9, what's going on, my friend? What are you doing here? Hope you're having a fantastic time, though. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend, man. Not a whole, well, so far we're, we're about to find out, but uh, because I have a grinder, this won't be my proudest moment, but. Okay, well, I, I, I would imagine, I got about half of a full, so I think that, that'll work. Dude, Chris, what's going on for Desert Monday? Okay, got that out of the way. Now I need half a teaspoon? Wait. I thought it was illegal to get half of teaspoons. I thought they had to come in full ass teaspoons. All right, here we go. Am I making? Uh, uh, Matt is probably going to have to remind me what it's called, but basically, it's a uh, cabbage. Like, cabbage leaves are stuffed with hamburger. Uh, that's got a shit ton of seasoning in it. I can't remember. Yep. Although I haven't, I haven't perfected the, uh, the the technique of the seasoning, you know, like in a neat way. But I do have these grinders to make it look like I'm a, prof I'm a professional, though. See? Look how easy that is. It's beautiful. Wait, wait. Halupkis? 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 Am I even saying that right? Wait. Where'd that come from? Is that from this? That is from that. Okay. Boom. Okay, so we got all that. Water is still not boiling. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. All right. Water is still not boiling. Let's get that shit out of the way. The only thing that I'm waiting on is the rice. It's got a minute and a half left. So we're going we're gonna to be big chilling. If you guys are drinking already, cheers, my friends. Matt, did I get the right thing right here? I'm really worried. I'm really worried that uh, this is not the right thing, but I, I literally, I, I walked up and down the Walmart aisle. You know, and the funny thing is like at our Walmart, Halupkis, 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 Halupkai? Hey, Lukis. Hey, love, hey, I don't. Cabbage, uh, I like, I, our Walmart is set up so that way you can only go, like each, each aisle is one way. Like you can only enter it from one side and exit from one side. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up doing circuits around the, 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 the tomato aisle. I did circuits probably at least seven or eight times trying to find something that said chopped tomatoes. And this is literally the only thing I could find and it was on the top shelf and it was all the way in the back. So I almost fucked things up. If this, well, if I, if this isn't the right thing, it's gonna be fucked up anyway. Wait, Halup Keys? Halup Keys. Why is English hard? This is the more important question, I think. All right, here we go. Rice is ready. All right. And now, whoo, god damn it's hot. Okay, how about this? I'm just gonna like, look, that is a shit ton of rice. That does not look right. Okay, well, uh, does that look like a proper rice to meat ratio? It looks like a little heavy on the rice side, I think. And unfortunately, I did not buy any more meat, so I might just have to make this work. All right. 
Are you afraid of water, right? Okay, the water's boiling. Okay, so in the cabbage goes. I probably should have flipped that over actually now that I think about it. Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? Um, wait, 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 wait. I, I might have an idea. I might have an idea. Hold on. Okay, that didn't work. Okay. Next idea. Don't you use like a giant spatula or something? Hold on. Maybe I use two, two of these little stabber things. Here we go. Okay, well, we avoided all burns. I think we're in the, in the clear right now. However, it stopped boiling though. It's kind of concerning. There we go. All right, we're doing all right. Dude, Max, my friend, what's going on? It's your man here. MR, wait, wait. Oh, Mr. Max. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Okay, the idea is that I can boil the top half where the majority of the leaf is, right? And then flip it over and then continue boiling the rest of it to where it's like just like, like perfectly, perfectly al dente. Dora, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you, my friend. Hope you're a fantastic guest one day. Okay. Now that we got the cabbage in the pot, we go in. Pussy? Hold on, you can't see him. You see him up there? Demo. Hi. He's angry at me because I'm using my outdoor voice. Hey. He's obsessed with the cabbage right now. Okay, but he's up there. He's up like way up there and he's chilling, dude. Cornhole? Yeah, Max loves cornhole, man. Good and soft. I'm gonna try and make it as good and soft as I can, man. The thing is, like, anytime I'm down here in the kitchen, he just sits up there. Like, the first day, he, he, he did not leave the downstairs. And the, since then, since he got, went upstairs, he just does not want to hang out upstairs. Or he does not want to hang out downstairs. Really. Give him foods? Dude, I would if I could. It, I, dude, oh my god. So, like, okay, I'm not going to lie. When I first, okay, when, when, when I was first thinking, okay, I'm going to take him home. Because uh, I'm not sure if you guys know the story. So, like, the, the way that I ended up with him was that one of my employees was, uh, he, he had some uh, chickens that were, or some uh, raccoons that were killing his chickens. So, um, anyway, he put out a trap to try to catch the raccoons and then, you know, set them out in the, in the woods, you know, way far away from his chickens. And uh, he, ended up, he ended up catching Demo instead. So, anyway, he comes to work and, uh, you know, I'm, I, I park my truck next to his and he's, uh, this rice is not sticking into the meat. Maybe I should have added like an egg or something in here. I don't fucking know. But anyway, so I so I walk past this truck and I, I see this like this this little trap in the back, and the poor little guy's sitting there like just chilling, looking at me. And I was like, oh, this is fucking adorable. And so I asked him. He's like, and he told me he told me how he ended up he ended up catching him. And he's like, yeah, if you don't like if you don't take him, I'm probably just gonna go set him free too. And I was like, oh man. He like. He had like this really nasty cut on his cheek. He still has it, but it's, it's healed up quite a bit. And I think it's because like, I'm, I'm assuming just, you know, based off of how skittish he is that whenever he, uh, okay, the cabbage is one of the thank Christ. Whenever, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that when he got trapped, he probably freaked the fuck out and it started latching everywhere and probably like cut his little cheek or something. So uh, I was like, man, I, I feel so bad for him. He's, he's got such cute eyes. He's a cute little guy. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to like I could I I could tell how skittish he was. I was like, you know what? He might not be he not, might not be fit for living inside the house, and so I'll like feel it out for a couple days. I'll just get the bare essentials. And I got like really cheap cat food and really cheap, uh, you know, like a bed and really cheap, you know, fucking everything. And um, turns out he he's grown so fucking attached to me that I uh, now I think I I gotta switch him off. But dude, that food that I gave him was so fucking awful. Like he could he could be inside my closet. My closet is like okay, so you know like usually when I'm upstairs. When I'm upstairs, um, and you know the door that's behind me, that closet is probably a good like another 10 feet away from that door, right? He would fart from inside that closet and I could smell that shit, man. Oh my God, it was awful. It's like, you know, if, if I were a lesser man, 
and didn't have a, a, a very strong love for that cat, I might have taken him back to the pound just for his parts, man. <laughs> or not the pound, the shelter. Jesus. Like, it was fucking awful, man. It still is awful. So anyway, like, I got, I got some more food today from uh, the market since I ran out of that. And hopefully that serves better because God knows I, I, oh, dude, I just, I cannot handle that shit, man. Give him some cabbage? I don't think he need it. Like, he, he, like, I got him treats too. Like, well, the thing is, I also, like, I haven't fed him any wet food either. Like, I've only fed him dry food. Well, because, like, originally, you know, he wouldn't let me get close enough to him to be able to see, like, how big his teeth are. Because I'm a little bit, he's probably, like, two or three months. Something like that. And, uh, you, you think so? Huh. Yeah, if, if he was going, like, I think it was a barn cat or something, just, just based off of how he behaves. So it could very well be that he just, like, he ate whatever trash he could find, man. It's entirely possible, but I, uh, I don't know. I, I got some wet food for him, too, but I, I haven't tried giving him any. Maybe I should give him that instead of the, the dry food next, and hopefully, hopefully he takes it out a little better, because God knows those farts, man. I'm just glad that he's not sleeping in my room, because fucking Christ, man. He'd, he'd probably kill me in my sleep. And actually, I don't know why I'm washing my hand right now, because I'm going to have to form them into patties anyway. Oh, there we go. But she is what she is. But I, anyway, I don't think you'll eat the cabbage, because, uh, like, eat, I, got, I got, like, a little package of treats, too. Like, they're, like, Nine Lives brand, uh, like, little cat treats. They're, like, bacon and turkey or some shit like that. And he will not eat it out of my hand at all. Like, I've got to, like, put it in front of him, and then he'll eat it. Even, even now with him crawling all over me and shit. So, I don't know if it'll work, but I can try, though. He might eat, he might eat like, the soft cabbage. But, oh, his teeth actually are pretty sharp, though. So, I learned pretty quickly he can handle that, uh, he can handle the, uh, he can handle the, the dry food pretty easily. All right. So, I need to put these guys on a pan, or on a plate, or on a something, so that way I can get them cooking. And uh, maybe by the time that um, I stop procrastinating, fuck do it. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll put them on the uh, I'll put them on the Hercules plate. I'm gonna say it wouldn't be a real cooking stream if we didn't include the Hercules plate at least at some point. So here we go. All right, let me make some make some burgers here. Actually, they're, they're gonna be like they gotta be like hot dog shaped, right? In order to fit in there, I think they gotta be like hot dog shaped, like cylindrical and shit. Not like a, a test tube size, but you know, like kind of a nice, healthy kind of thing. Right? Well, actually, I want it flat, don't I? I kind of need it flat so that way it cooks faster. There we go. That's nice. That's a nice chonker. That might actually be like twice as big as it needs to be though. I have no idea what to expect. And who knows, those cabbages might, those cabbage leaves might not even be that, uh, might not even be that, that long either. Hmm. How about this? We'll try making them like, like maybe three inches long. How about that? I think that'll work. There we go. Beautiful. A nice little Lincoln log there. There we go. I say, I think maybe we can do like six of them, maybe, with this amount of meat. But dude, that recipe, that recipe uh, had like fourteen of them next to each other. It's crazy. Wait, what kind of ice cream are you eating, Chris? Hopefully not meat ice cream, because that would be kind of disgusting. But that's all I can think about right now, because I'm so grossed out by all this grease on my fingers, dude. Y'all get burgers? They, they, they're hot dog style burgers though. They're like nice, fat, kind of like sausage-esque uh, burgers. All right. Yeah, I think, I think I'm only gonna get like six out of this. That kind of sucks. I was expecting to be able to eat all this for a week. Caramel? Wait, how do they even make caramel without like a dick ton of sugar? Cause I thought that was the, uh, I thought that was the entire thing was, was caramel with sugar. There we go. Just nice little, nice little burger logs here. Here we go. 
It's not a beautiful job, but you know what? We're doing the best with what we got. And, you know, realistically, I think even if Gordo were here, he would not judge me based on the cylindricity of, uh, which is a real word, by the way, look it up, I swear to God. Um, he would not judge me on the cylindricity of my logs. Which is probably for the best. There we go. Cab is still a boiling away. And I think it'd probably be a good idea to get, go ahead and get these guys cooking too the second that we get these going. It's different. Maybe, does, like, yeah, can you see the ingredients on it? Because I'm curious. Like, did they put, like, Swerve or, like, Stevie or some shit on it? Because, like, it doesn't have, the, like, quite the, quite the granular, like, crunchiness that sugar has. It's weird. It's like, a, it's basically like a really soft sugar. Dude, Flinch, what's going on with you, Mandy? I'm sorry, I wasn't talking much to you yesterday, man. I was, uh, kind of in the middle of a lot of shit, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, is that Cope's emote? That's fucking funny, man. Grinding, oh, dude. I am not jealous in the slightest. I've actually been, uh, like, in these last couple of days, I've been afraid to play DVD with, with the, with the, the cat around, because I've been worried that I'm going to get a hag or something like that, and then I'm going to scream, and then he's going to think lesser of me, and he's not going to trust me. So I've been, I've been playing, I've been actually grinding dungeons on WoW, just to, uh, because it's, it's a nice kind of like chill game that I can just veg out and like not even think about playing. And, uh, and I, like, I don't get upset to the extent that I do with, uh, DVD, you know? Dude, Alien's got my friend, here's your money. Yes, I did, I did, I did, and I almost forgot to. But I got it on the charger just in time. That dude's a little disappointing, but you know what? Gotta have one in the bunch. Oh, but get this. So I was thinking, let me, uh, let me wash my hands before I get these guys going. I was thinking, like, with, with Demo, I think, like, I think he might have, like, balance issues, man. Like, I can't tell if he's, if he's got balance issues or if he's just clumsy. It, it, I mean, it could be either one, but, and part of me makes me think that, like, if that's, like, maybe, maybe that's why he, maybe he was abandoned by his mom or something like that, and, because he was, you know, destined to not make it or something, I don't know. Dip 40, massive! Dude, that's a huge milestone. God, that takes, like, Fucking weak and classic. Dude, I was gonna say Coke would make the most serious burger ever. Like ever that ever existed. Briggs again nursing. Hey, dude, K Dot was telling me about that. He was telling me about that, and that's the best news that I've heard in probably about two weeks. It's been marvelous. And I've been memeing it nonstop. And dude, you know I cannot wait for that shit. I should probably uh Well, that cab just, is it getting soft yet? I'm afraid to touch it. Okay, I'll just, I'll just let that keep doing its thing. How about that? All right, let me get a little bit of grease in here. Cause I don't think I have any blood, dude. No, I don't have any blood. Fuck my life. Okay, you know what? Let's just put a little bit of oil in here real quick. Let's get this dude up and going. Ow, fuck my life. Okay, here we go. A little bit of oil. Okay, that's probably entirely too much, but you know what? Go big or go home, am I right? Losing armor? Wait, so what's, so it's just gonna straight heal then, is what you're saying. Cause, uh, I wasn't like, why, why are they fixing like the stupidest shit about her? What they need to do is get rid of one of her CC abilities. You get rid of one of her CC abilities and the game's a lot more balanced, you know? Oh, fuck. Hold on, I think I broke my tripod. There we go. That's better. That's better. But KDOT told me that they're also nerfing her stun, too. And they're also, like, he told me that they're nerf, that, like, the, the, the stun's supposed to be going down, like, down in duration, and it's also, like, losing, like, 90% of his damage, too, which it should. It should just, like, not exist, you know, but that's, uh, apparently that's asking too much, you know? Cone? Wait. Wait, the bits are in the in the cone? The chocolate bits are in the cone? That sounds pretty dope. I couldn't eat it, but it sounds pretty dope. Really? So like they just they couldn't fix the bugs, so they're just removing the mechanic entirely. 
Well, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, for whatever reason, whatever whatever reason they have to make her less played, I am perfectly okay with it, and that's the way it should be. That is entirely the way it should be. And I will never complain about any kind of nerf that she receives because she sucks and she does not deserve to be in the game. All right, I'm going to start a petition. I know Max is going to be the first person that signs up. I'm going to start a petition to get Brig removed from the game. Why am I doing this with my bare hands when I just washed them? The pan's not even hot yet. Oh, well, you know what? Yellow. Maybe. And, oh, dude, I just, oh, fuck, that's falling apart. I had an idea. Like, what if I just load this side of the pan so that way it sits straight? Yeah, they're, uh, I don't know. I mean, Grand Overwatch is still kind of a youngish game. Well, in today's day and age, I guess it's not really young, but, but I mean, compared to WoW, though, it is. And, uh, like, all the changes they've made in WoW, where they're like, okay, we don't like the way that this system works. Let's just do everything we can to remove this system out of the game by replacing it with something that is, like, four times shittier. And then, like, they do that, and then they commit to that, and then they get to the next expansion. They're like, okay, you know what? It turns out this one didn't work, so we're just going to remove that entirely. We're going to remove the one before that entirely, and then we're going to put this new mechanic in that sucks even more. And then they do all that, and then they're like, you know what? We feel like none of this is working, so how about we just, like, go back to the original idea? It's like, well, no fucking shit. Barrier shield... Inc wait, oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about the, sh the shield one, though. Because, like, realistically, that shield does, it d doesn't count as a shield anymore, I don't think. Oh, it's regeneration, never mind. Oh, regeneration decreased, gotcha. Huh. Okay, so it's kind of like a sideways nerf to it, then. Dude, Cherry was going to finish your money! No, I don't play Seven Days. I know you've, you've, you've told me I need to get it, though. But I don't play it. I've been, I've been too obsessed with DVD recently to get into anything. Wait, that is... You know what, though? Like, oh, oh, I got you. Well, hopefully it stays, or hopefully it goes past experimental. So, basically, experimental sounds like it's just, like, not, uh, not the, the PTB, the PTR. I, you know what? I'm, I'm, every time they release expansion, I get really excited about it. And it sounds like they're fixing so many problems. And it's like, okay, I like this. And how many times have they done a stat, a stat squish? They've done a stat squish, like, in the last, like, seven expansions, they've done a stat, a stat squish in, like, literally five of them. So I don't know what this is hoping to accomplish. But, I don't know, trying to extend the longevity of the game or some shit. I don't fucking know. Armor pack is a big... Fuck, why don't they just get rid of the... They're just get rid of the shield bash, man. If they got rid of the shield bash, it'd be so much... Like, I, I enjoy the game so much more. When will I get it? I... Well... I'm sure it's on sale on Steam right now, isn't it? I would imagine. Oh, shit. The fire truck just went outside my house. Not my house, though, because I'm very obviously not burning anything down. You guys are witness to this. Yeah, that's my figured alien. That's kind of it seems that's the way they're treating it anyway. So I'm glad that the uh, the one tank thing didn't survive. No, do not buff Brig, please, Era. Do not please, because she God knows she does not eat any of that garbage. Dude, th I know the thing is that like people were pissed about the RNG with the legendaries. I get that it sucks when you have bad RNG, but <laughs> this asteroid system is so much fucking worse. It's like what they tried to do with glyphs originally. If you remember glyphs back in. Uh, Back in Wrath when they put them in? Dude, that thing was atrocious. Yeah. 60, wait, 66%? Holy shit, maybe I will get that then. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, it's like they commit to... Uh, they, they commit to their decisions really fucking hard. They, they double down on everything. They don't want to admit that the player base is right and it's fucking stupid and that's what's killing the game. And that's what's being killing the game. But you know what? They just want to, they just want to know that they're right. This <laughs> one's Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate you. The flashlight? Flashlight save. Did you clip it? Please do. The 66? Yeah, seven days to die, uh, Chris. 
Yeah, Legion was actually good, but the thing is, like, okay, so WoW's, WoW's development team has, they've, they've got two teams, basically. And I need something to flip these. And I'm not paying attention, I'm gonna burn the shit out of these burgers. And actually, I probably better flip the cabbage also. What do I do with those? They're there. Fuck. That's so all over. Like, WoW's, WoW's development team, they've got two teams, right? They've got one, like, they've got the team that did Wrath, and then they had a second team that, oh, there we go. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is getting real. Oh, fuck, I burnt the bottom of that. God damn it. Okay, well, a couple of them are going to be crunchy. Uh, we're not going to talk about it, though. Let me turn that down a little bit. There we go. So, you know, they got they got the one that did Wrath, and then they got the one that did um, uh, Kata. And then the team that did Wrath, when 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 they were pushing out Kata, they had the team that was working on Mist. And then when the team that was working on Mist, they had the Kata team working on Warlords. And, you know, vice versa, they just keep flip-flopping. But... The team that's doing Shadowlands is the one that did Legion. Or did, they did Legion, they did uh, Wrath, and they did um, Miss. So, I've got a very, very good feeling about it, you know? Okay, I probably better flip these dudes, because they're I'm sure they're getting toasty. Eh. Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. Eh. 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 Fucking, what, why are these... These, these little turds are not, they're not flipping at all. There we go. Eh. God, I need something a little more efficient than this. Okay. How about, uh, fuck. I don't think I have anything. God, the funny thing is they look like little turds, don't they? There we go. Yep, nice and, nice and burger lock. There we go. Okay, we're getting most of them flipped anyway, except this little dude. There we go, here we go. Okay, and now I can get this last guy in here. Last guy's going in there, boom, beautiful. Okay, and they're all they're all getting cooked in the oven anyway, so I'm not, I don't feel too bad about touching them, but. Legion, dude, not, not, not Legion from DVD, Legion from, uh, from WoW, dude. WoW Legion was actually insane. You met, As uh, dude, I met him at uh, DreamHack. I stood behind him in the beer line. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly the way that is, Alien. I, although I've only seen uh, the Next Generation, but that's all I know. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're talking about World of Warcraft, dude. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool, man. He's pretty cool. He was he was also exactly how I expected him to be IRL too, which I, I think is even cooler. Yeah, I met him and a couple other dudes there at DreamHack in Austin like a year and a half ago. Maybe, maybe it was two years ago. I don't fucking remember. I didn't meet anybody at PAX, though, in San Antonio. TB, uh, TBC, TBC was really, really good. Don't get me wrong. TBC was really, really good. And that's kind of where I played in my prime. But uh, there were a lot of broken mechanics in it. And uh, I think I would argue that Wrath is a lot more balanced. At least until Season 4. Season 4 of a... Uh, of, uh, Wrath was fucking awful. Because that's when you had all the, the, the warrior, or not, not warrior, uh, you had all the uh, warlock, shaman, druid uh, fucking teams, which was garbage. And just not fun to play. And that's actually why I stopped playing Arena. It was because, like, that was the meta, because it was so fucking strong. That was the meta for, like, the next two or three expansions. So I stopped Arena after that. Oh, that's really cool of him, Flinchy. That's really neat. What do you mean you weren't how I expected? I do. I had no idea what to expect, because I don't. I'm you. You stream maybe like once or twice, maybe once or twice uh, before TwitchCon or something, because you were still trying to get your your setup back going. So I I really didn't have. Oh, I didn't really know too much to expect. But I Cherry was exactly how I expected though, because I I hung out with Cherry quite a bit. We do, yeah, I, I'm planning on I'm planning on playing Shadowlands. I'm probably gonna regret it and hate it after a couple weeks, but uh, I will probably end up playing it though. You know shit about the game? Okay, the most important part is if you if you want to play Shadowlands, it'd probably be good to get started like as soon as you can because like you won't be able to like I'm gonna be way fucking far ahead of you. 
as long as you get like a, a character to max right now, and right now, dude, I, that's actually what I've been doing is I've been trying to cap all the characters I have that aren't 120 already. Uh, and you get them to cap, and you're perfectly ready for the for Shadowlands. Like you, you don't even have to gear them out. You just have to get them up. Yep, double XP right now. Plus you get like, plus right now it's uh, the, the 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 summer event. So during the summer event, you get also a, a another hundred percent bonus to all your XP also. So right now you can double up on it. And I've got like all the heirlooms, so I get like an extra like fucking like seventy five percent XP from everything. It's crazy. So what I've been doing is I've been doing the uh, the time walking dungeons, the ones that, like right now it's it's uh, Burning Crusade week. So you go back and you 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 queue for Burning Crusade dungeons, and I've been getting two fucking levels in every dungeon. So it takes like nothing at all. Can level? That's all I've got, Cherry. I've got like I've got two horde that are one ten. And that's it, because like I played nothing but horde back in like clear until the end of uh, the end of wrath, and then when they they uh, the the arena meta was to go human for every man for himself, so that way you got two trinket slots, and uh, so I, when I switched there, I didn't I didn't switch back, so I've I've got like literally everything, but uh, Chris I play I I play literally everything in that game, and I've I played um uh, I played warlock. Uh, Priest, uh, Warrior, Paladin, uh, and Hunter all the way up over 2k. So, wait, I'll, I'll probably end up like, I'll probably end up faction changing because Puka was supposed to level with me and we got up to like 80 on, on your guys' realm and then uh, we just stopped playing for some reason. For the horde? Ah, dude, come on now. Get out of here with that. Although now, nowadays the, the racials don't even fucking matter, but. Yeah, no, uh, gnomes are a meme, man. They're a meme. I don't think anybody plays a gnome just because they want to, you know. And now they have the mecha gnome. Now that they have the mecha gnomes. There's literally no reason to play gnome. Period. All right. Okay. Wait, that that guy's not cooked all the way up. You we you have a gnome just because you want one, Cherry? That doesn't even make sense, though. Like, how? Yeah. Oh, dude, the gnomes are fucking annoying, man. <laughs> you, dude, you say that till you play one. And like, literally, okay. They they used to have. I, actually, I think they still have escape artists. They had an ability that let them whenever they got rooted or snared, like whenever they got slowed or like stuck in place or something like that. I think like Trapper. If they got trapped, um, they had an ability that let them escape that for free. And so, like, a lot of melee classes would play that specifically for that uh, racial right there. But other than that, man, there, were, there really was not a whole lot of reason to play them. Something, I, I don't know why that, that does not surprise me in the slightest, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, dude. I haven't played Undead in a long time. I haven't played Undead since, uh, since Burning Crusade, man. Like, seriously played it. Okay, I think I'm... Okay, that guy, those guys are good. Okay, so, I gotta start. And I think I'm gonna let this guy... I'm gonna let that go for maybe like five more minutes. So while that's getting ready... Actually, let's scoop these guys out onto... I probably better use something other than that because that has raw meat on it. Alright, let's scoop these guys out onto... That's got raw meat on it also. All right, let's scoop these guys out onto another plate. Boom. That guy's a little raw, but he'll cook all the way through once we get him in the oven. There we go. Oh, dude, these actually look fucking good, man. I'm gonna keep this, the, the little one out just to snack on. Holy shit, that looks good. I've never, I've never tried putting garlic powder inside of burgers, man. This is, that's kind of like a really, really dope idea. All right, so I got, let me put that in the sink so I don't burn myself off, because I absolutely will. I'll put that, oh fuck! Okay, okay, that was not me, by the way. That was not me at all. Oh, the fear, yeah, dude. Oh, the Will of the Forsaken. Will the, they changed Will of the Forsaken so it's not as good as it was anymore. Yeah, you can, you can these days, Chris. You used to not be able to, like back in, back in the, uh, 
original, like a classic in the, the Burning Crusade days, you couldn't. You had to, yeah, I, I actually had two accounts back in those days, so that way I could play on both sides of the same server. But uh, these days you don't have to. Wait, now are you? Oh, you're talking to you're talking to uh, alien. I gotcha. All right, let's get let's get this shit ready. I'm okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the burner off. I'm gonna let it keep boiling, and then the second the water stops boiling, boom, we're slapping it over here. I think that's the play. All right, so let me get my little pan out here, my little Pyrex thing, and it's buried underneath everything because I have not used this in probably like uh ever actually. Actually, I don't even know how I got this. I probably better clean this out real quick. It's probably got like dust and shit in it. There we go. Alrighty. We're okay with this. Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's try that out again real quick. And I am officially out of paper towels, too. Huge. Oh, that's what, the thing is, like, what's great is I snack on that shit all week long, man. That's why, like, it, this actually saves me. You know, the funny thing is, Mag's memes that he tries to get me to make really expensive shit, so that way, uh, that way it makes me go broke. But, the joke's on him because it saves, saves me money on food throughout the week, because I make one dish for, like, 40 bucks, I eat on that all week instead of spending, like, you know, 15, 20 bucks a day on food, so I'm okay with this. Wait, oh, the, the store, ah, okay, never mind, I'm falling. Nine rolls, oh my jeez. The thing is, I had three of them in there, and then I think like a mouse or something got into them and shredded them. And now that I've got demo, I don't have to worry about mice. So, it is a fantastic thing. But that is kind of the, uh, the downfall of living in a renovated shed, though, or renovated barn, so. <sighs> but, all right. I think we're finally getting to a point where the cab is stopping. Maybe we drain this. Let's drain this, dude. Okay. Uh, oh, no, dude. Oh, shit. I think I cooked it too long. The cab is falling apart. Okay, beautiful. Let me get this guy out. Er, oh, hold on. I'm going to set the cabbage on here. I think what I better do is I need a, uh, I need like a station where I can make my roll, roll it up, and then throw it right in the pan. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the pan over here. I'm going to get a station. Wait, I've got a cutting board here. I think that'll work. That'll work for a station. Just because I'm going to use the word station. And I'm saying it so much because I love it. Uh, what do you think? Uh, chances are I'll probably end up playing Rogue because Rogue is one of my favorites. But um, I'm uh, Cherry Malganis. That's right. Yeah, I th we'll play on Malganis, dude. Because I don't think any of my any of my other friends like I've got a big group of like uh, like probably like fifteen or twenty people uh, that I've always played every expansion with, and they always disappear like three weeks after release or something like that. Like everybody hits it really fucking hard and then everybody just disappears except maybe one or two. And I end up playing the rest of the expansion by myself. So probably what I'll end up doing is playing Horde because I don't, I so far I've not heard anything from anybody about playing Shadowlands. And speak, okay, let's, well, let me do this while I'm working because this is gonna bake for a little bit. So that, that brings me to a whole nother thing because like, shit man, fuck I made that translucent. Oh, okay, I gotta put that. Maybe we can put the cabinet on another plate. Cause I'm not gonna be able to peel that while it's in there. Okay, so. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Here we go. Eh. 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 Oh shit. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Whew. God, dude, I'm sweating. I was gonna be so fucking heavy. God, you see the smoke that's coming off that? Jesus Christ. That dude's still steaming. Okay, anyway. Malganis, it's a it's a PvP server. It's a, oh, you have to make sure that you're on US. 
uh, Chris, you have to make sure that you're on US servers. Because they have, they have, they've got servers all over the world. Okay, that guy's not gonna get used. Maybe I'm gonna, how am I supposed to peel this? Oh, that one looked, yeah, that one's kind of, that one's kind of wonky. I don't know if I can use that one. Oh, oh dude, they're just falling right off. This is perfect. Okay, there's our first real good candy here. Holy shit, look at that. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but you know what? Okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up playing with you guys. I, like, I, didn't, I didn't know Kyle was actually wanting to play it, though. Uh, boy, I made those really fucking small now that I look at it. Um, is this supposed to be like that small? Yike. Uh, you should be able to, man. Wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember how to do this the proper way. So I roll one side over like this, then I fold in one side, fold in the other side, boom, and then I roll it like this, and then boom. Officially, we have our first halopska. Wow, I can get used to doing this. I'm gonna throw these guys away because they are burnt to shit. Okay, here we go. Next. Oh my god, that one's even better. I should have waited till this one. That one doesn't want to fall off though. Oh my god, dude, that's a full ass leaf though. Holy shit. You might have to do it on your on your Blizzard net or your Battle.net account, Chris. I have no fucking idea. It's weird that it wouldn't let you do that. Is it? Is, I think it's in like top right corner of the server selecting. Dude, okay, that was good. God, these things. That, maybe, maybe I am doing that at the right, the right size. Okay, let me, let me roll it the other way though. This is gonna be a left-handed one. In honor of our, our buddy Beans. Poor Southpaw. There we go. Oh, okay, that one looks a lot more professional, I think. It look, it's, it's almost like a shepherd's pie uh, kind of uh, 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 spring roll or something. Oh, I like it. Oh my god, dude. That is such a satisfying thing, man. Just peeling these guys off, dude. It sounds so freaking... Or it feels so freaking good, man. Making a... Halops... Or... Halops goddess? Uh, it is a... Something that Matt will probably have to explain because I'm, you know, talking out of my ass right now. But it's basically like cabbage that is stuffed with hamburger with a shit ton of seasoning on it. And it, the end result looks like something like that. But we're gonna chuck these guys in the oven for like, ah, I'd say probably about, you know, a handful of minutes. Because they're, they're pretty well cooked through. I just wanna, I just gotta make sure they all, you know, meld together, so. All right, here we go. Roll, roll. Dude, this, the stem part does not like to roll at all. I probably should have cut that off now that I think about it. Wait, where's, Cabbage, please. There we go. What? Wait, 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 wait. So the entire account is for the is for the, ah fuck my life. That's hot. So the entire account is for for EU. And there, so, wait, are they trying to force you to have another account for for NA? Cause that's fucking bullshit if that's the case. Cause like every, literally every other one of the games you can play, you can play cross, uh, like cross region. Okay, there we go. God, the, dude, the leaves get more beautiful like the more you go into it. It's great. Jesus. And they get bigger too, which uh, does not bode well for uh, <laughs> our little, our little Lincoln logs here. Pork chops and tears, dude. Wait, are you are you are you uh, encrusting your pork chops? Wait. Okay, so you have the game, so, like, so you got the you got the trial game. Is that what it is, Chris? You got the trial game, and it, you can't switch you can't switch regions until uh, you can't switch regions until you sub. Basically, is what you're saying. 
if I'm if I'm understanding that correctly. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Fold, fold, roll. Okay, that guy's gonna be very satisfying, but that's okay. These, the, dude, the ones that, like now, now that we're kind of in the white part, it's not wanting to like roll very well. And it's squirting every time I break it off too. It's kind of gross, man. You Chipotle rub, dude. That sounds insane. Chipotle rub on pork chops. I never even thought of that. That sounds so fucking good. God, I'm gonna try that. That is. Oh, I got you. I got you. But the thing is, like, your characters wouldn't stay. So, like, if you made a character on the NA region, because I, I played on both of them before, but I think I played on separate accounts. Because I, I got, like, probably five or six WoW accounts. Which, actually, you probably have one of mine if, uh... You probably have one of mine, actually, because God knows I'm not going to use it. That might have a character that's already started that you might want. I don't know. Unless you want to make, just, you know, make one for yourself, you know? Roasted garlic oh. oh my god. I almost kind of wish I put something like that in the burgers. Dude, if not, I was going to finish your mandy. What am I making? I'm making uh, hopscotch. It is basically, as you see here, they're basically a uh, cabbage that's stuffed with hamburger and like garlic and onion and all kinds of different seasoning and shit. Something about burgers? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're burgers that are inside the cabbage. You know? Okay, so now the next step is to... Okay, here is exactly what it says. And please correct me if I'm wrong uh, here, Matt. Okay, here is exactly what it says on the recipe. It says to pour the crushed... or Sorry, chopped tomatoes. Pour the chopped tomatoes and juice on top of everything and then chuck her in the oven. So I'm going to try that. If that's wrong, I'm probably really going to regret this. You're on the way, huge, dude. Hey, there's no way I'm even gonna eat like a quarter of this tonight. So I'm going to have plenty. Eh. Eh, my fingers are too slick from the cabbage. Oh no, please. Eh. God damn it. I don't, I don't have any paper towels left to dry off my hands either. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I, I have the, the very last one on the roll. It's very, it's very impressive. Chopped tomatoes and tomato, wait, fuck. Wait, maybe it comes with tomato juice in it. Maybe, this sounds really liquid. Maybe it's got tomato juice inside of it. Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to open this? I, it looked like a milk carton or something, right? Eh. Do I just cut it? The fuck? Who the hell sells tomatoes in a box? They probably won't. Fucking. Okay. Well, that sucks. We're gonna try though. I'm actually. I might have some tomato sauce somewhere. Hold on. I might. No, I've got tomato paste. That sucks. Okay. Well, you know what? We tried. We tried, fams. All right. Now how the? I'm. I'm just gonna cut it, man. I have no idea. It's like there's no seam. There's no nothing. There's not like a little spout that you punch in and pour it out or anything like that, dude. There's none of that. It's just like a box of tomatoes. And nothing more. Huh, okay. Yep, we're gonna cut this, dude. Make sure that we don't... I didn't touch any raw meat, so we're okay. Alright. <clears throat> this is also how I opened all my milk cartons at school, too. Oh yeah, it is, it is tomato juice. I don't know how to show you this without spilling it, but it looks like a, uh, that should be it. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump this dude on here, right? Or is it supposed to be like, okay, well, I mean, it covered like, what the, oh God, oh dude, oh man. It covered most of it, I think. One big spoon. Uh, big spoon. There we go. 
get the biggest spoon I got. All right. It looks like it covered for the most part, you know, most of the most of the cabbage though. Like maybe like a handful. I mean, is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be like a soup almost? No, nah, he's not. He got he got he got scared off. I think by my. Uh, I think he got scared off by me talking loud and being an idiot. Also, he's like, I've never seen this side of you before because you've always been so gentle and so you know quiet and respectful of my space. But now you're kind of making you're kind of putting me on the edge, pal. That's, that's basically what I'm expecting him expecting to see. All right, so I'm chucking this dude in the oven. Let me go. President didn't get wait. Get a knife for what? Like that, that is that the way it's supposed to look, Matt? I feel like it. I mean, it looks really good. It looks really good, but I don't know. I don't think we have any other options right now. So here we go. Into the oven we go. We'll bake it for ah, uh, let's say ah, uh, let's say 15 minutes. We'll bake it for 15 minutes. I'm gonna lean here in this mess that I created because I don't know if I've got talent or candy. Which I do not. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just chill. Pour a little bit more wine. Oh, fuck. Dude, I just scooped that up with a knife, didn't I? Ugh. God, imagine being that guy that uses a knife to scoop shit up, man. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me in the slightest. Like, is it supposed to like, is it supposed to like roast the tomatoes or something like that in the oven? Hey, I'm drinking wine because it's not hard liquor. That is why. And let me tell you guys, it has been seven weeks now. Seven weeks without any hard liquor, man. We're doing the thing. We're doing the thing. You know what? My blood pressure has gone down like tremendously from it too. It's been, it's actually been a great thing. Really great thing. I mean, fuck, I should put some, ah, oh, I should put some wine in the burger, man. That would've been insane, wouldn't it? I didn't even think about that. I've got, I've got some cooking wine up there too, but I've got real wine in the cup. No, you don't, you don't drink Red Bull, you fly with the Red Bull, it's different. Like, okay. I, I, I've been drinking a lot of, uh, for, okay, for like, for like the last probably three years, I've, I've been drinking like, like 600 milligrams of caffeine via energy drinks for the last like, yeah, for like the last three years, man. And I cut all that shit down to just, to just like 200 milligrams now, so. I don't drink it because Monster, the Monster Zero Sugar ones are so much better for you than the Red Bull ones. Well, they're, I, don't, I don't say they're better for you, but but they do taste better. They don't taste like, you don't have to chew it because it's so like gritty. Like Red Bull, you have to chew. Same thing with the Sugarful Monsters, you have to chew those also. The Rockstars though, the only reason I'm not drinking Rockstar is because nobody's selling it around here because I'm the only one that buys it, is basically why. No, monsters, well, I agree they are shit, but their sugar-free one is very good for you. Well, not good for you, but you know what I mean. It's, it's very good, it's very delicious. It doesn't taste like, well, okay, it does taste like energy drink. But it's got all the health, or, well, okay, so it doesn't have the health benefits, but, but it does give you energy, and I think that's what's important. No, it's not still shit, though. Like, okay, Rockstar has their, they, they have their peach tea. Their peach tea is so insanely good, though. Like, okay, when they came out with that shit, I bought out every store in like a 14 mile radius, man. Every single store bought them out and not a single one of them has restocked it because I'm the only one that buys this shit around here because chances are most of the people in this area, if they were to drink something like that, they'd probably, they'd probably croak because, you know, being elderly and shit, but that much caffeine is not good for the heart. But... That, that brings me back to my point, though, is that my blood pressure is rescinded. I was looking for a reason to use that word today. Is rescinded so much that I can get by with drinking a little bit of caffeine in the morning because, well, I need it, frankly. And we've only killed four minutes, man. <laughs> but 
Oh, I'll, I'll tell you guys a story though. So I went to uh, I went to CVS yesterday to grab some supplies. While I was uh, after I got all the shit to cook tonight, I went to CVS and I grabbed you know whatever I needed to grab, and then I went up to the cashier, and she was like probably like she was she was a late teens girl. She was probably like 16, 16 to eighteen or somewhere in that age, I would assume. And so when I, I threw my shit on the counter, she scans it, and she's like, "Okay, that'll be that'll be that'll be nineteen thirty-seven." And I, I was like, "Okay, let me reenact this for you right here." Okay, this is exactly what happened. Okay, so I'm standing here at the counter. She tells me it's nineteen thirty-seven. I'm like, I put it in my card, and I'm like, "Hmm, that was a good year." And <laughs> just like casually, just like that, I, I kept on going, and I just look up, and she's looking at me like. You don't look that old. <laughs> I was like, dude. That's why. It's, it's a chill. But she missed it. It was okay. She thought it was funny after I told her it was a joke, so I felt a lot better about that. But creating awkward situations in public is one of my specialties. I fucking love this shit, man. Guard no, that's alright. That's alright. I'm not about that. <laughs> well, dude, what brand is it? Because that sounds absolutely insane. A Chipotle garlic rub. Oh. Especially in pork chops. I never really think about using rubs on pork chops, though. It's like every time I've had pork chops, they've either been straight grilled or uh, put breading on them. And my mom likes to use, uh, she likes to use the, the Jiffy mix, you know, like the, the Jiffy muffins. She likes to put that on the outside of it. And it's, it's like really, really, really sweet. It's actually really good for it. Especially when you, when you mix that shit with, uh, or pair it with, with applesauce and shit, man. Rebels not exactly. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Okay, there you go, Mags. We have the majority rule. Red Bull is disgusting. And it's bad for your health. I'm not saying Monster is good for your health, but it's not terrible. It's or it's not it's not as bad as Red Bull. So I feel like that makes it good for your health, right? Because if the opposite of bad Okay, so like if Red Bull's bad, Monster is the opposite of, of Red Bull, so Monster is good by proxy, right? I, I can attest to this, and I'm not saying this is somebody that's had an absolute dick ton of Jaeger bombs, but um, yeah, that shit tastes like shit, man. Especially when you mix it with like a licorice alcohol, too. No, but have you had Bang? Like, Bang and Venom, man, I cannot drink those drinks at all. And the funny thing is, like, I, I should be able to drink them just fine because they've got no, like, both of them both zero carbs, zero sugar, and, like, all that garbage. But, I, dude, I've tried so many flavors of them because, like, one of my employees is obsessed with, with Bang. I've tried, like, probably six or seven different flavors of them, and I just, I cannot find something that doesn't taste like shit, man. So I'm happy. I'm happy with, like, like, if I find a Rockstar, Rockstar is the first thing that I go to. If I can't find a Rockstar, then I go to the Monster, and the Monster, the, it's the one, the white can, the one, the, the, it's like, what the fuck do they call it? Like, no, Silver Ice is, is Rockstar. It's, uh, shit, I can't even think of what it's called. I don't know, if, if, if I hadn't tried to think about it, I would have been able to tell you, like, off the top of my head, but I can't think of it right now. I drink that shit every fucking morning. But, it's only out of necessity because there's not a Rockstar, and it feels bad, man. But she is what she is. Only seven minutes left, dude. Only seven minutes left till we pull these dudes out. Let's let's check on them. Let's see how they're doing. It's looking very similar to how it was when we put it in there. Okay, so well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to like ro like it's supposed to like roast them. Are the tomatoes supposed to like soften and shit? I don't, like I don't know. I don't know the technical term for it. Are, is it supposed to prosciutto them? Are we are we aiming for prosciutto tomatoes on top of the cabbage? I think is is. I I don't remember the lingo, man. I'm not formally trained. I'm just armchairly trained. And demo is still not hanging out. Feels bad, man. But I feel like after this week, after this week, he will be around all the time though. Because I got him, I got him like this little cat bed, right? And it, it, it was one of the like really cheap ones from Walmart, but I figured it was like, it was something he could grow into. And then that's when I realized he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Because I put that, I put that bed down and it turns out it is the perfect amount for him to lay down on and not stretch, but be perfectly 
within the profile of the bed. So, cuisine art, gotcha. Cuisine, actually, I think I've got, uh, hold up. I think I've actually got some of this shit. Cause it's got, it's got a white label on, doesn't it? I think I've gotten like some of the barbecue around before. Oh no, it's Weber, Never mind. As Weber. But if I remember right, I think I've seen it before. Okay, I'll I'll have to look for that next time because I like it's it's that sounds so familiar, man. Like they've got all kinds of different seasonings, don't they? Like they got they got all kinds of different rubs and shit. But I'm I'm actually more intrigued by the thought of putting a rub on a pork chop. Never in a million years would I thought of doing something like that. I'm gonna put this away because this is creeping me out. Uh, I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna put. Do I even have a lid for that? I hope to God I do. One of these lids has to fit it, right? Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Uh, there we go. I think that's the right one. There we go. Alright, this dude's getting put away. So I can get rid of that plate. But yeah, man, at the, at the rate that he's going, though, he's progressed so much it's insane. And I'm hoping that Sweet, a tiny bit spicy. Hey, that actually sounds pretty good. Is the salt coming from the? Uh, is it coming from the fat? Maybe, or just, is, is, like you're talking just tasting the rub itself. But he like, I, so I got the, this little bed anyway. So like, I'm covered in cabbage juice now. I um, like I have a I have a guitar processing unit that I've had for fucking years, man, and that like it, it's been going out for like. I don't know, probably like at least last year. Like every time I turn it on, it takes longer and longer to turn on and give, it's giving me all kinds of errors and shit. And usually if I'm persistent enough, I just have to keep turning on, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. After like maybe 10 minutes of doing that, it'll, it'll pop on. And I did that the other day. I tried it for about three hours and it did not work. So, which is really disappointing because it's got all my guitar settings in it. And um, so I, I took it off my desk because I was like, you know what, if I'm not gonna use this anymore, I don't need the space anymore. And I figured I, if I got that bed and I put it up there on the corner of my desk, he can chill up there in the corner of my desk on, on the cat bed. So I'm gonna try because now, like, he spent all of last night sleeping on top of my desk while I was trying to fucking heal dungeons. And I let the tanks die at least, I don't know, it's probably a good 12, 15 times just because like he was laying on my keyboard and he'd be pressing buttons when I was trying not to and eating my global cooldown when I was trying to heal the tanks and shit, man. So. I don't know. And the other thing is, like if I start typing, he likes to play whack-a-mole with my fingers. So like if, you know, I'm, I'm over here typing. I type pretty fast. I type probably about like 130, 130 words per minute on a good day. And he like... He, he like smacks my fingers and shit while I'm trying to do that. And so like, I'm trying to like, okay, so I let the tank die. Let me, let me, let me give you this, this example. Okay. This is, this is actually what happened last night. So I'm, I'm like, so he keeps, he keeps smacking the keys and shit and like eating my global cooldown while I'm trying to heal the healers. Right. And then the tank dies and we survived the push. We survived the push. That's the important part. We survived the push, but the tank dies. So the tank's like, what the fuck mate? And I'm like, so I start typing like, Hey, sorry, man. I've got a cat that keeps like pushing buttons on my keyboard. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying. And while I'm typing this, he is banking the shit out of my fingers while I'm trying to defend myself. And it makes me look like a fucking idiot because I keep pushing all the wrong buttons because I keep smacking my fingers out of the way. And so it looks like I'm having a fucking stroke when I'm trying to defend myself. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that, that they thought I just like was not completely there, but it is what it is, man. <laughs> All right, we got one more minute. One more minuto. And they're still looking similar, man. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it though. This would be pretty good. What's that? Uh, I'm drinking some Merlot right now. Still, still away from the hard liquor though. So that's what's important. But I don't know, I got to the point where it's like, the CBD really wasn't doing it for me. So I started drinking wine again. It's like it just, you know, I like I, I tried really really fucking hard, but like the, like I said, it just, it, it did it did me well for like 
two or three days, and then after that, it's like, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. It's like, I just, I don't like smoking. So I started drinking wine again. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure something out, man. I'll figure something out at some point. But anyway, it's, it's a lot better than the alternative, so, so. We're still making progress. It just kind of got stifled a little bit. No big deal. No biggie. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Wait. All right. Let's pull this dude out. I probably better have somewhere to put that before I actually pull it out. I wish I had two, like, symmetric or gloves that, like, look like gloves. Unfortunately, like, look at the disparity in these two different gloves, man. This is what I got to work with. And I did not purchase either one of these. I inherited them. And I think that's the more frustrating part of it is I got to, like, make do with what I got. And, uh... Which, actually, it kind of works out because, like, my right arm's slightly longer than my left arm, too. So, I guess, I guess maybe that works out. I get a little better coverage on one Holy shit, that smells amazing. Dude, that actually that actually smells really, really, really fucking good, dude. Check that out. Hold on. Check this out. It looks really similar. It smells really good, though. It smells really, really good. All right. I didn't think it through very well, so I guess uh, this one needs to be washed anyway, so I'll just... Clear that out of the area. Okay. Okay. That's gross. Alright. I need a plant. My plant. I need uh how do you pick these up? Tongs? I feel like tongs is the appropriate way to pick these things up. Here we go. Yeah, but if you get tongs, how do you get the, the tomato in there? That's really, really juicy. Which is also what she said. I'm gonna get a few more of those tomatoes there. I'll steal that one off of that one. Because God knows, God knows with my uh, acid reflux that I need it in my life. But you know what? It's, it's, it's about the journey. Fuck, maybe I should have made rice on the side. <gasps> I've got rice on the side. It'd be, wait, what, what did I do differently? What did I do differently, Matt? I thought, I thought I followed it pretty closely, though. Pretty closely. I still got some rice here. It's still warm. Okay, beautiful. So we can almost make a full ass plate out of it. Because I did, I did not think about doing a, a sideboard. I don't know why. But boom. Here is what we're left... Oh my god. Oh, a juice. Here's what we're left with, though. Like, what, what, what should I have done differently? Should I just... I've gotten a shit ton more tomatoes. Okay. So we're gonna try this dude right here, right now. Oh, pre-cooked the meat. Oh, I got you. Like the main reason why I did that is because I was like, you know, I was thinking, like, because it said to bake for two hours, and I don't know how to kill two hours, man. Like if, if I had a if I had demo down here, which I wonder if he's at the top of the stairs. Nah. Okay. Anyway, if, if he was down here, it might have been a little bit easier, but I have no idea how the fuck I'm going to do it. Juicy and wet as possible? Bruh. This dude is juicy. All right, here we go. We're going to give her give her the old college try, man. <gasps> That's my peanut butter knife. You can tell by how... Or my peanut butter spoon. You can tell by how bent it is. <laughs> what the fuck? How did that end up back in there? <laughs> I can't even remember... Like, what did I bend that on? I bent that on like one of my very first cooking streams. I remember that much. Okay, this spoon, this spoon's a, a lot better, man. What the fuck did I bend that on? I don't remember. It, it, dude, that was so long ago. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll cut it this way. There we go. Nice and juicy. Why well, is it Hercules? Hercules plate, 
was for the, the raw meat, that's why. Because I had to incorporate somehow and I didn't think that far ahead. I won't talk about it. That's not very much meat though. Not very much tomato. Here we go. Here we go. Whole thing in one bite. We go. That's not that bad. That's a lot of cabbage for that much meat. I should have made the. I should have made them a lot bigger though. Like I should have made the, the meat logs bigger. Which nobody complains about bigger meat logs. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, that fell apart. Holy shit. Eh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cooperate. Don't, I am actually very talented. Disappointment? Dude. Hey, Hercules had his time. Just just be happy with the time that Hercules was allotted. Okay, it's falling apart, but here we go. I feel like this is a finger food. Oh. Cooperate to meat. Please. There we go. Okay. Tomato. God, the amount of preparation this is taking to get everything together. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, that burger is actually insane. Holy shit, man. From here on, from here on, I am always, 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 anytime I make burger, I'm putting garlic powder and onion powder in that shit, man. Every single fucking time. I don't give a shit, man. Every time from here on, no matter what. Even if it doesn't say to, even if it says specifically not to, I'm still going to do it because that's how good that it is. Well, there is also that, yes. I mean, I, could, I, feel, I, I feel like this little one, I could probably do the whole thing. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. I ain't no bitch. I feel like that was an indirect challenge. God, okay, never mind. There's no way in hell that's happening. There's no way in hell that's happening. Dude, that is so much fucking cabbage. There's no way in hell. Okay, never mind. It was always hard, thank Christ. That is, that is just so much cabbage, man. There's no way. I mean, wait, hold on. Uh, dude, there's no fucking way. I can eat like half of it, maybe. I can do half of it, I think, but not the whole thing. This, no, basic seasoning for, hot, for, for burgers is salt and pepper and that's it because you know what with the good meat you don't need seasoning and you can quote me on that because i quoted that straight from gordon ramsay uh, <clears throat> wait what the fuck bruh bruh here we go here we go okay that's almost a wrap right We're doing that from now on, man. Tastes like meat. Bruh, who the fuck doesn't like salt and pepper and meatballs, though? Like, you say, like, it's a bad thing, man. I would eat that all, all day long. I would, actually, you know what? I've been craving meatballs for a long time. I think I'm, oh, speaking of which, Mags, while you're here, I think I've kind of deduced that I do owe you a cooking stream. Like I suspected. So think of something you want, bitch. We'll do it next weekend. It's like, okay. This 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 entire dish. Asian food? About okay now that's that's rude. That's so rude. You were lucky that his little ears were not here to hear that. Okay. So I feel like this dish is actually a statement. It's like, okay, you can get you can get the cabbage, or you can get the burger, or you can get the tomatoes, but you can't have all of them. And every time you try to make all of them work together, they just refuse to. They just absolutely refuse to. It's much like society, you know? It's like no matter how hard you try to make things work together, sometimes they just will not cooperate whatsoever. I have a grill. I, I do have one in the backyard, but 
I haven't used it yet. It's actually full of paint from when they when they painted the upstairs, when they or when they painted the balcony. But like, you know, no matter what, you got your good citizens, right? Let's say the good citizens is a cabbage, okay? The good citizens is a cabbage. You put the good citizens on the fork, and then you got the people that like just kind of want to stir up some trouble. That's the burger. So you put that on top of the cabbage, and it just falls right off. It's like okay, okay, and then. Then you got like the, the let, let's let's say like uh, for the for the sake of argument let's let's just say like the, the people that go out and they the, all they want to do is just fuck up people's days. That's the tomatoes, right? Because that's what it does anyway for me, is it because of uh, acid reflux. But always eat the cabbage first. Wait, so you, do you eat it separately? Do you let it fall apart? Is that the way you're supposed to eat this? I know, br bruh. It's like it's just like a little charcoal grill. It's nothing. It's nothing real, real fancy. It's like one of those like little thirty dollar box grills that you get from Lowe's or something. Name this dish Brexit because it just falls apart. Smile. <laughs> I don't even know that much about about British politics, but I, I appreciate that. <laughs> it's like no matter what you do, you just you cannot get it all to stay on the fork, man. <laughs> it's, 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 it's physically impossible. <laughs> That's like, oh, I got you. I, I was gonna say, man, I, I feel like, you know what? That's probably why this is such a low calorie dish, is because you burn so many calories trying to make it all work together. Spending so much energy trying to get it to melt and to just sit on the fork together. It's like, for every time, okay, like, let, let's, let's just think about something for a second. Okay, so whenever you eat, like, let's just say you're eating a straight ass steak, right? You cut it once, then you stab it, and then you eat it, right? One move. Well, I guess. Forget the cutting, but okay. So you stab it, you eat it. One move, okay. Then you have a salad. Salad, like I'm stealing, I'm ripping this from Dimitri Martin, but he his joke is that, you know, whenever you get a salad, the, like you have to create miniature versions of that salad every time you get a bite, right? You're trying to recreate the entire salad, but in a miniature form on a fork. Now, I think that's why this one is so, like has so few calories, because you burn so many, Trying to get it all to line up on the fork. I think I think I think it's brilliant. But anyway, all right, dudes. I appreciate all you guys for hanging out. It has been a blast. I'm sorry that this uh, did not turn out the way that it probably should have. But it's still really good, though. It's still really good. And I'm I'm probably gonna try to eat it with my hands because even as juicy as it is, I feel like that's probably gonna be the most efficient delivery method. Probably. You choke it down? Bruh! Show puss? I'll try to get him. Hey, demo. Demo. It's not gonna happen, man. It's not gonna happen. You just use tomato juice instead of like the actual tomatoes? Dude, the, uh, okay, here's the thing. He's like back in a closet. And like, he's in the closet that my AC unit's in, right? And the funny thing is like, like the, the, the massive duct that goes to the actual unit, it's like, it goes from the filter to the unit, that duct, it's like, it's like a, you know, like two foot, two foot duct, right? And it's, it's like that squishy aluminum. So what he does is he likes to sit on top of that. And then whenever, whenever the, the AC starts going, it like inflates a little bit and he likes riding it. <laughs> so that's what he's doing right now. So anyway, the AC's on. And like I go up there and I'm like, hey. And he's like, he just looks at me like, bruh, leave me alone. I'm enjoying myself right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him do that. But I do have plenty of pictures of. I will post pictures on Discord though. Yes, he does like riding the duct. Thank you so much, Drew. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for hanging out. And all you guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, tomorrow, we'll be back, though. 8 p.m. Central Standard Taco. Uh, probably playing Dead by Daylight. I'm going to try... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to play World of Warcraft tomorrow. Because I've actually been enjoying grinding dungeons. And I've only got two more days to get the rest of my characters to level 120. So I might do that. I don't fucking know. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. But anyway... No, I love you, Cherry. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. 
Hope you guys have a fantastic time. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Hope you have a great tomorrow. Until I see you again tomorrow. So anyway, you guys take care of yourselves. And uh, wait, do we have, is, are any, any of the buds live? I don't, I don't, I don't know if any of the buds are live. Love an ally? Dude, Jerry, I'm telling you, right now, I'm getting, I'm getting two levels per time walking dungeon. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much. Hey, Jay, now take care of yourself. Love you too, alien man. It's really sweet of you. Oh, let me rate, let me rate, see biz kid? This guy looks like an idiot, man. Why would I raid this guy? All right, now the, now the homeboys are live, man. Now the homeboys are homegirls. All right, so anyway, take care of yourselves, my friends. I appreciate you. Like I said, take care of yourselves. Peace out. Wait, how the fuck do you turn this off? Wait.